Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request from Ben Willis, publicly subscribed to you for the last year. I don't know what this was actually on. I think the YouTube. Hey Supercap, I have a question and I'm too lazy to answer myself. I fly the F-16 in DCS quite a bit and have found my ability to attack any ground targets defended by even an agitated difficult mob difficult. I noticed today that I can drop GBUs before the release queue and still hit the target. Question, what is the range of GBU from the F-16? GBU, we don't have INS bombs yet, so it's going to be a laser-guided bomb, April 2020. And there's two ways of doing this. Either we chuck it, we lob it. In that case, we can lob it about 40 miles at Mach 2. And then there's another laser at the end of the target, a JTAC or something, that could laser it down to target. Or we can self-laze, which means we have to drop the bomb and laser it ourselves with our T-Bot. I assume that's what this guy is asking for, self-lazing, in which case the range of the drop is actually dictated by the distance of our laser. So we're going to go with that and see what the maximum range that we can get with dropping a bomb to stay safe from the angry mob. Okay, welcome back. We're in F-16 now. We've got a guy on an island there. We're going to see how far away we can bomb this while self-lazing in my aircraft now traditional logic you think goes high as possible and go as fast as possible but that simply doesn't work we have a real limitation coded into our t-pod laser and that is an exactly 10 nautical mile slant range with our laser so if we ever exceed 10 nautical mile slant range between my, me and the target, the laser actually stops working and you'll see your bomb will go wiggly and actually start chasing after your plane, which looks very fun but doesn't actually work. We have to limit to ourselves to about 40,000 feet. Speed-wise, we can go pretty much as fast as we want. The, the altitude seems to be more important than the speed. So we're going to get ourselves to Mach 2, 40,000 feet, and that should be, theoretically, the longest distance we should be able to get with our bomb while maintaining our 10 mile laser in a roughly realistic configuration off we go full power let's get some speed up let's start setting our bomb up I'm gonna go in auto ccrp I'm gonna go in tgp I'm gonna go on the laser that's pretty much us done so let's get down to 40,000 feet let's get up to mach 2 now 40,000 feet and however many miles we're going to be out 10 or so miles we're pretty much invulnerable to anything other than uh, medium to long range SAMs which we're, which there's no way to beat them with a GBU anyway with the self lays right 26 seconds to go keep an eye on the uh, distance at the bottom there in nautical miles to the target I think that's going to be slant range Mach 1.94 8 seconds push and hold Bomb away at 12 miles. Check it's going. It is. So a 12 mile slant range there. Off the gas. Air brake out. What we've got to do now is keep within our 10 miles of raise of laser. And we can start the lasing very shortly. And a small right turn. So lasing now. So we can lose some altitude. It's going to help our range a bit. Again, we're vulnerable for anything other than, uh, you know, an SA-11 buck upwards. Check the plane. Line of sight. Looks good. Come on, baby. Just crossing over the top now. That should be it. And shack. Boom! So that hit it from so the self layers in the F-16 with no help from external layers at about 12.5 nautical miles, slant range at about 40,000 feet. And that's the best we can get out of that aeroplane. I hope that was useful and see you later.